once again, we are here in our little platformer world. And I am living here. And um, here we are. What I want to do today is, if you notice these little coins, they are all rotating. Uh, basically, the animations are starting at the same point in time. And that may be fine for you. may be fine for a lot of people. But I think I would like to have them start in random, uh, random places. And maybe even, well, we'll, we'll see. I'm thinking maybe even uh, change the speed of each one. That's also doable. But we, I don't know. We may not do that. We'll at least change the, how they, where they start when they rotate. So in order to do that, um, I haven't used the random, uh, uh, the random function here yet. So what I want to do is I want to go into utils. And I know that this is a singleton, so it's going to be loaded first. So I want to go into the ready function here. And I just want to get a call to randomize. And that will... That will randomize. I'll show you what it does. Randomize. It randomizes the random number seed. So basically, it just it's based on time, so it changes the random number speed, so that things will be different each time. Uh, so I just wanted to do that in that singleton for the utils right there, and add that to ready. So he'll get called before every everybody else. Well, with that out of the way, that was easily done, wasn't it? So then let's go to the base. Well, let's go to the coin scene. I have it open here, and we'll click on the script, which just opens up the base pickup. So this is the base pickup script. I want to add. Uh, I want to add a flag. So let's export, and I want it to be a boolean since it's a flag, and we'll say. Um, um, let's call it animation random start so we'll say false and then we click here and we can see it right here beautiful beautiful lovely so we'll go here so what we'll do is if we'll try this if this flag is set Then we want to get the, and I did this wrong, current, current animation length. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to be a random start location is what I want to do. So we're going to come right back to here and do some more stuff. But basically what I want to do is take that value that we'll determine momentarily and say current uh, animation position equals random start. And of course you can do this in one line if you want to, but for clarity we are se we are separating it. That's going to be simple because all I have to do is take this and multiply by that. So basically it gives us anything from the very start of the animation to the very end of it, which is perfect. Now let's see what happens. Oh, and we have this. So invalid set index current animation position. So obviously I have not determined this correctly. Let's let's rummage along into the help. Uh, position in seconds. So the current animation position in seconds. Uh, the current length in seconds. They're both floats. Ah, I see. You see right here, the current animation, it's a getter. There's no setter. So what we need is we need a way to advance, then we just need to do the following. So we'll say animation dot advance. Isn't that what it, isn't that what it was? Yeah, advance. And so we need a delta. Uh, basically, let's call it an animation offset. So we're kind of switching gears here. We need to rename it because I renamed it. And it looks like it's working. So we have that out of the way. Yeah, you can see them. They're all different now. Beautiful. OK, so that's one thing done. Let's do this. I have these outlines, these, uh, these outlines uh, right over here that look like they're for blocks. Let's look and see what we can do about taking 
those and making them into something interesting. We had the computer. Let me go to level two. Uh, level. I believe we had under the tiles, we have the computer. And uh, what we can do with the computer is just basically plop him down. Let's do this. Let's plop the computer down. And let's say the computer controls will control these little guys right here. And we will say full. Oh, it's already in here. 14 is the computer. We already have a, a place for it. Uh, that's, that's just so great. So let's go down here and let's say computer. And we're going to do the same kind of dealio here. We're going to create an instance from the tile map. Um, and we're going to put it in interactables because that's where we want it. And it's not going to be a ladder. It's going to be the computer. So we already have uh, a packed scene, at least in the level for it. But uh, you, see, you can see here it's empty. So we need to make a scene for that. And so what we'll do is we'll go into the triggerables because he's going to be triggerable. Let me go back to level and make sure that I didn't put him in the wrong place. No, I want him in triggerables because he's going to be, as I said, triggerable. So triggerable. So then we'll merely, we'll just right click on here and we'll say, I want a new inherited scene. Here we are. And let's get to that scene. And for the sprite, we will set the frame to be the computer. Come on, baby. There we go. That computer right there. Now we got a couple of different computers. We've got a check mark, got an exclamation mark. We may do something with that later, but for now, it's just going to be frame 43. Um, the collision shape will make it to be a new rectangular shape, and we'll twizzle him in to a good place right there. And our collision shape uh, should be able to uh, uh, go in better, yes. So that is a computer. This is our uh, computer. Now, um, now, we may do all sorts of things with the computer, but for now, uh, we're just, there it is. And we can remove the script from the computer. We can add one, and we can say it derives. That's a good path, but it inherits from base. Actually, I'll have to do it this way, won't I? Uh, not that way, this way. Base triggerable, because that's what we want. So we'll use the door as sort of a, a dealio here, a uh, template. That's what I'm trying to think. So computer, we'll just paste this in. So we have an on-triggered function. Um, and then probably for now, we will probably have like a, uh, let's just call it is on. And we'll always start as false. So in other words, if it's on, if it's not on, then we're going to set it on because we don't want it to keep triggering everything. Uh, we may have an animation later, but is on is true. So really, I think in this sense, what we should do here is the following. Uh, yeah. Since we're not checking the bot, what what body it is, we'll just go and go for a uh, null. So that should allow us to ever trigger the computer if we ever wanted to from the game for whatever reason. Since we're in the group, uh, because the base triggerable puts itself in the triggerable group, and that was the idea of the triggerables is we can trigger them from anywhere, wherever we want. But in this case, we don't need that. We just want to know when the player goes uh, enters, and so we want to call this function on game which isn't isn't yet doesn't exist yet uh, so what we want to do is say function boom computer on and let's uh, print computer on and then let's just run it real quick and uh, head on over there and what you probably do is computer on okay and now we're behind it that I don't like I don't like that at all. Uh, 
we could put his z-index i think up one i believe that would be okay then he would be sure to be in front of everything which i think he should be yeah let's just leave it like that so the computer is on and we should only get that message once and in addition what we can do also is just to give the computer a sense of you know it's uh, the fact that it's really cool you know uh, we can go on to uh, the frame we can go to 44 let's go to 44 whenever it turns whenever it turns on so um, so we get this and then we can say sprite so we're just going to change the frame and I think is it just a frame uh, can I say plus equals one I think I can do this let's see because it's just the next frame all down yes and you see it will check check mark that's that's phenomenal and now we need to do something with the computer on so that's going to come from here so what we'll probably want to do is have something that we can call from elsewhere something like uh, um, get tiles And this would be tile index. So basically, we want to we want to be able to find, and we'll return an array. Isn't that how you do it? I just have to say array, right? And you know, thinking about it, maybe we should just say we could just have a function called replace tiles uh, old tile index. And then, uh, which is an integer, and then new tile index, which is also an integer, because integers are wonderful and they're lovely. So instead of this, we would just get our array, and then we would do we would do this. Let's just call it cells, just like this, and then we would say. Um, we would say tiles or tile tiles dot set cell so we're going to set the cell of this position to new tile index and boom Probably don't need this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that for now. Actually, maybe I'll just comment it out. Who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll need that sometime, some day. Yeah, that's what it is. So we want the old tile index. That was what was giving us that error there. So then, when we get in the game here, if the computer is on, then we want to. Let's see, do we have the so really what we need is a function that says get level uh, let's just say get level node so we'll basic we're basically going to copy this stuff. So we're going to get the, the root tree, and then if it has a, a node called level, then here we're just going to return this. Otherwise, we're going to return null. So that just gives us the current level node, if you know what I mean. And then we can do this. We can just say pazow. Might as well use it, right? Um, and then we're just going to have to do an extra check here. If level is not equal to null, then we're going to do this stuff. That's how you load another level. Okay, so now we can use this down here. Hi, I see. Let me, see. Let me make sure that I did this right. Level and then free the level. Okay, I see. Basically, basically, if basically, if we have 
let's call it old level because that's really what we're doing. We're free in the old level. There we go. Then I want to grab this because we want to, when the computer's turned on, we want to get the level node. And then we want to say level dot uh, not replace. What do we call it? Replace tiles. Yep. Replace tiles. Uh, old tile index, which uh, should be level dot. Did we did we get that? We may not have that as a we don't. So block outline is number nine, and we'll just go with block outline just like so, and we should be able to utilize that when we're doing this here. We're going to replace this with uh, level dot. And I can't remember, I cannot remember what they are. And we probably can do the following. We can make put a class name here so that we can just call it and we can just call the constants that way. Uh, and that's just gonna be, there's the block outline. Let's see, level dot, yeah, see there they are, there they are. Block outline, I like that better. So I just added a class name there so that we can see what's going on. And I'm gonna have to go back into this the level again to grab six. Yes, it's, it's it's obviously blatantly obvious here that it's missing. And there it is. That's where it would be, right? Number six. So we say level dot block. Yeah. Oh, because I don't have a root anymore. Right. Which means I just have to basically do this. Well, that's crummy. All right, I'm just gonna do this. That should solve all those problems. Let's see if it still loads, if it still works. Good, good, we're, we're, we're going somewhere here. Let's go through, there's the computer. Let's hold down here and, and there you go. Let's see if they actually work. We should. Yeah, man. We will take a look at this in another video. And that would be taking uh, the data that we get back from the scan of the tile set and then basically kind of animating these so that they don't just appear immediately, but that maybe that they appear like, you know, like they're building, building up or something. Or even we could even scale, maybe scale these things up. So until next time, I think that is pretty much it. And thanks for watching. Hopefully this was fun.